Those are nice, by the way. I wasn't gonna say anything, but yeah. Hey, welcome, Westside BMX. We're at the USA BMX Grand Nationals here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're sitting here with an Olympian from uh, Nevada, young Connor Fields. Pulled off some amazing stuff all year long. I'll tell you what, he's he's a tremendous rider, great kid. Is I, I don't you you can't say enough about this kid. So the most important thing everybody wants to know, and I I know a little history about you. When are you going to come back to the announcing uh, scene? Because he used to announce in his local program. He was an awesome announcer. When are you coming back taking Redmond's job? You know, I think when I got old enough to, uh, you know, start getting embarrassed. And, um, you know, when you're young, you just don't really care. And you just go with it. And you don't care how embarrassing it is or how bad it is. And I think once I got to the age where I realized that um, I'm up here announcing and everyone's listening to me and I'm not very good, then <laughs> I called it a day. So, you know, who knows? Maybe one day I'll make the comeback. Uh, but... I hung it up. Uh, last time I did it was uh, I was 12 years old in Albuquerque, and I announced the pre-race. Dude, that was it. it was awesome. I I love Connor up in the announcing tower. He knows all the riders. He'd pick them up real quick. Didn't even need numbers. It was awesome. Let's talk about the next four years real quick. Olympics are over. That was the goal. That was the plan. You won the Olympic trials. What are we gonna see from you in the next couple of years, bud? You know, I I'm just gonna race a lot, everything I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a crack at that USA BMX uh, Pro title. You know, this is my first season doing a full year of pro, so good to get the full season under my belt and get some solid results, and then just look to get even better next year. You know, and and maybe go for a world title, maybe go for USA BMX title, but just racing all over the place. And then uh, I think closer we get to the Olympics, then the focus will shift a little bit. Awesome. Now. Growing up, I know your dad was a big uh, advocate for your education. What's going to happen? Um, you would take your. I remember seeing you at the track with with books. I mean, and your backpack and stuff. What's going to happen in the future? Are you going to put off your education for a little bit, come back to it, do it while you're while you're racing? What's the goal? I actually just got accepted a couple weeks ago to attend University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Uh, no I'm way. I'm starting in January, and I'm just going part time. I'm going to do uh, one class online and one there. So. Four classes is a full load, so I'm just doing a half load. Uh, do one online and one there. That way, if I'm gone for a race, I'm only missing one of the two classes. And looking forward to it. Uh, I think I'm going to major in kinesiology wow. and go into physical therapy. You know, kinesiology, I have a good friend. He's a sports medicine guy. I can't even spell that word. Yeah. So th that's awesome. <laughs> I don't think I can spell it either, but the good news is all you need to know is like how the body works and not too much English. Nice. Good. You know what? Congratulations to yourself on the Olympics. Um, also to your, your family, man. Great mom, dad, supporting your education, supporting your racing. Dude, you are blessed, my friend. I, I, I can't find too much to complain about, that's for sure. You know, I, thanks to my parents for supporting me. And you know, I, I, I was just raised, raised well to have priorities. And you know, I think it's like seeing a lot of the older riders, the, the Donnies, the Mikes, the Kalins, you know, the, the Kyle Bennett's. You know, they're getting to the twilight of their careers, and it was a kind of like a now what, you know? And, and I'm conscious of that. And, you know, while I want to be living in the now and doing the BMX thing, it's, you always got to remember that it's going to end. So, you know, I, I, I use guys like Stumpy uh, as a role model and he was able to have a really smooth transition into a normal work in life. And, and that's some, something that I'd like to do. You know, I'm going to send a copy of this to Randy and he's going to be psyched on that. He's one of my good friends. So, yeah. dude, that's awesome. Okay, we're out of here. Take care. Congratulations, buddy. It's awesome seeing you. No Thanks. Have a good one.